Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> Welcome to my office. Today I'm doing the most highly requested video on my channel by far, which is the office tour slash gaming room tour slash come on in. Let me show you around. I've been putting off doing this video because my office isn't exactly where I want it to be. I'm pretty happy with it, but um, there's a couple of things that I do want to change up. But I figured if I don't record it now, then I'm not going to record it for a long time. And that's just sad. So we're recording it today. Also, I was wondering what time of day to record this video at because morning time, my office looks amazing. It looks so refreshing. It looks so bright. It's really welcoming and beautiful, but the RGB lights are not as strong in the morning time. So I figured let's record at nighttime. At nighttime, I think my setup really comes alive and looks super gamer because there's just so much RGB lighting. It's dark and moody. And I don't know, I have more ability to customize it with the RGB lights. Without further ado, come along. Let me show you around my office. And also, I will be linking as much as I can down in the description below. If I miss anything, feel free to comment and let me know. But first things first, let me take you off this tripod. You are so tall. There we go. Hello. I'm going to show you all a quick overview of my office. Ta-da! Here is my desk and my gaming setup. I have my uh, face cam on, so hi. How you doing? <laughs> but here's where I do all my gaming and stuff. Over here is my tech closet where I have a bunch of technology. Shocking, I know. Uh, I have some ottomans down here as well in case people want to pull up and sit next to me while I play some video games. Keep going this way. Have a giant mirror. Hello. <laughs> Keep going this way. I have my pet snake Poe and his shrine slash castle, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. He's a happy snake. I have my G Fuel fridge here in the back with my G Fuel pyramid. I have this giant mountain tapestry that's been repurposed into an audio panel and a little love seat with some RGB lights behind it. I'm not too sure where to start with this room tour. I guess we'll start at the closet and we'll make our way around, okay? Okay. Behold, here is my tech closet. It holds a bunch of technology that I need on a day-to-day -day basis. The most important over here gotta be my consoles. I have an Xbox One X and I have a PS4 Pro. Right now I'm playing Modern Warfare, that's why I have the case right here. I have two laptops here. This one is the SCAR 3 by ASUS and this is, I honestly can't remember the model name, um, but I'll leave it down in the description below. What I love about this one is that it has this RGB light underneath, so it casts it onto the surface that you have it on. Isn't that just beautiful? But this is the laptop that I use for travel because it's a lot lighter than this one. Over here I have a printer in case I need to print things. Shocking, I know. And I also have a little piece of art on top that I love. It's so cute. It's me. Super adorable. Sitting on top of the printer, I have the ASUS ROG Phone 2. This is the phone that I use to play all the mobile games that you see on my channel. Down below, I have some oddments from Target. One of these is used to store my games, but I'm pretty sure it's a mess because I've been moving this. Yeah, what do you know? It's a mess. Okay, anyways, moving on. We ascend up here. Yeah. I'm not really one to keep boxes. I'm really not, but I have these just in case I need to return anything to the manufacturer. Uh, for example, you probably can't see that box because it's so exposed. Um, that is for my scuff controller. This right here is the Modern Warfare uh, special edition that has the night vision goggles, which I just like the look of this up here. So it's staying up there. Um, I have a still series headset, some G fuel, uh, my Nintendo switch box. I have the cyberpunk still series Arctis ones, uh, headsets here. And I have a Doom box because I just really like it. It's super aesthetic. Up here, I also have my router. That is the tech closet. Now we move on to the big boy setup. This is what I look at on a day-to-day -day basis. This is where I do my job. So where do I start? The PC. Um, it has the glass side on it. I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see it a bit better. There we go. Y'all can see him a lot better now. This is my PC Mordecai. I've had him since uh, mid-2018 when I built him. Uh, I have a video of that. I will leave it down in the description below. The only two components that have changed since then are the cooler. This is by Asus. This is the uh, Ryujin, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Ryujin 360 AIO cooler, which has worked great so far, can't complain, and I also have an RTX 2080. Let's get a quick shot of this PC here. Look at those fans spinning. It's crazy. It's like they're doing their job. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Behold my triple monitor setup. So as you guys can see, I'm going to take a seat here really quick. Um, I have a vertical monitor here. I don't remember the model name. I've had this thing since I was a senior in high school, which is a long time ago, let me tell you. Uh, these two monitors are the same. These are the ASUS ROG PG248Q. I think I got that right. <laughs> 
I hope so. I'll leave them down in the description below. Fantastic monitors. They do a great job. I'm very happy with them. I do play my Xbox One and my PS4 on the middle monitor here. Um, I usually have Twitter and my email open on this one. And I also do have Twitch on this one as well to read the chat. And if we go this way, I usually have, I don't know, stuff. Right now it's me. Hey. <laughs> And I get to change the RGB lights here too, and it looks different during the morning time as well. It's a lot more bright and whatnot in here, but uh, right now I think it looks pretty cool. It's very colorful. Yeah, I like colors. <laughs> to the right here I have my Scuf Prestige controller, which if you guys don't know about Scuffs, they have paddles on the back so that you don't have to press the buttons on the front. You can just press the paddles. Love them. Oh, I just did something. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Scuff, but I highly recommend them. I've been using them since 2013, I think. Here I have a mix amp. It's a very outdated mix amp. I need to get a new one. We're not going to talk too much about it because of that. <laughs> I use this mix amp specifically so that I can hear the game audio and the PC audio at the same time. And this little guy right here is the star of the show. This is Miller. Uh, he is not your conventional beer can, I'll tell you that much. He dances. I will show you. That's it. Dance for your money, Miller. <laughs> He's a good little beer can. He means well. Onto my mouse keyboard and mouse pad. This keyboard is the Asus Strix uh, Flare. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. Great keyboard. Can't complain. I also replaced the keycaps here with the ROG logo, which I think looks super cool. You gotta love the RGB color. The mouse, I can't remember the model name, but I will definitely leave it down in the description below. And the mouse pad that I'm so excited about. Look at it. It looks like a Modern Warfare camo. It's so cool looking. Random Frank P dropped this mouse pad. He's another YouTuber. He dropped this mouse pad and I saw it and said I have to have it. So now I have it and that's it. I don't really know much about it, but I like it. I have an Elgato stream deck as well that I use for streaming. You can press buttons on it. Fascinating. The mic I'm using is from Blue Microphones. It is the uh, Blackout Spark um, uh, SL. So it's got a name and I can't remember. I will link it down in the description below. How about that? <laughs> there is a tiny little soot sprite that sits on top of my microphone. He's so cute and he gives me the power. So he is here. Very good. The mic stand that my microphone is sitting on is by Blue Microphones as well. It's called the Compass, I'm pretty sure. I'll link it down below. Behold my ring light. So this ring light is fantastic. I don't remember the size. Let's measure it. Are you okay? Are you? He is so happy right now. Are you? There's no music playing. Okay. He's excited that I'm getting the tape measure out, but let's go ahead and measure this because I've been wanting to know anyways. This ring light is 18 inches confirmed. I've been wanting to know that for a while, but when it comes to buying ring lights, y'all, uh, some important advice I have for you. Big ring light equals it'll light up the background more. Little ring light means it'll light up you more. Know what I mean? I also recommend getting a ring light that does dim and go bright. Um, the reason I recommend this is because you can change up the look of your streams. Or if you want to play a horror game or something, you can set the mood. Hi, ah, now onto my camera. So this is a camera. A very nice camera. It is the Sony A6000. I can't quite remember the name of the lens, but I'll definitely put that down in the description below. I'll put everything that I had to get to use this camera as a webcam. I'll put it all down in the description. Uh, it's amazing. This thing has been a game changer for my content. Um, it was it was pricey, but I think it was worth it for me. If we follow this cable, which admittedly I need a new one because it's so short, <laughs> it will take you all the way to the Elgato cam link. Mordecai's a little bit loud right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the glass back on. One second. There we go. That's so much better. Now, where was I? Um, cable management isn't half bad. I mean, honestly, the reason why I put off this video for so long is because the cables are not exactly where I want them to be. I think I did okay at the back of the PC, but besides that, eh, it's a little bit of a mess. I was going to hold off this video till it was, you know, better than this, but I figured if I don't, then it's going to take me forever to make this video. Also, speaking of the desk, I want to go ahead and address what this desk is. Um, I bought it at a local office furniture store in Georgia. I don't know if you can order it online or not, um, but I will leave all the information that I can down below in the description. Maybe your local office store has it? I don't know. I have a headset hook right here, which has two headsets. This is the SteelSeries Arctis 9X. Um, this is my daily driver. I use this headset the most. I love it. And I also have the SteelSeries Arctis Ones Wired that I use for when I play my Switch. Both fantastic headsets. If I keep going this way, hello, how you doing? Um, you will see a little pile of stuff. Um, 
including a fake plant, which is really important. It's just a bunch of random stuff. My glasses, I have a little rock from the Gulag, you know, Warzone. It's, he's, his name is Throsif, like Joseph, but Throsif, because you throw him, get it? It's funny, laugh. <laughs> We call him Throw for short. He's a good little rock. I have my cash book for finances, I have my to-do list notebook, and I have my fairy card binder, which by the way, fairy cards have been discontinued. Crazy to think about. The Pokemon card game sure is evolving, no pun intended. On this wall, I have a window. Yep. It feels very bare. Hold on, let me back up. It feels very bare. I, I want to do something with it, but I'm not too sure yet. Hmm. Also, while I'm here, I totally forgot to mention these audio panels. One, two, three. There's one back there. Four, five, and this one even is one. Six. My dad built all of these for sound deafening. Um, if I don't have these in the room, it tends to echo a lot in here, but they do a fantastic job. Love them, especially this one. This used to be a mountain tapestry in my room, and my dad said, let's slap it on a sound panel. I said, yes, that sounds great. And I love it. And my dad also constructed this closet as well. He put in this little desktop here. He put in the wood wall. He put in this top shelf here. My dad has contributed so much to my office. He even built, okay, get ready. He even built Poe's shrine. He built this. Can you believe that? So thanks, dad. I appreciate it. I should probably go ahead and mention my chair. I have a Vertigare chair. This is the SL2000. Fantastic chair. This is my second Vertigare chair that I've had. It's a very firm gaming chair as well. Um, highly recommend it if you like firm chairs. Yep. Firm. Moving right along, if we look to the left here, hello, how are you doing? Look at this giant mirror. Look how pretty it is. I have this specifically for Instagram. Yep, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Look at how detailed it is though. Ain't it pretty? I love this thing. <gasps> I should totally mention my light. Okay, we're gonna go turn on my light because he's really important, I have to show you. Are you ready? There he is. <laughs> I don't wanna blind you guys, but here is my light. Look at him, isn't he so weird looking? There's a fan in the middle here and you can't, you know, can't touch the fans because there's that little barrier. Um, but I just thought it looked so weird. I thought it would be so suitable for my office. So here it is. Got it from Home Depot. I don't know. It's kind of, I like it. It kind of suits the aesthetic of my office. Yeah, maybe. I don't, okay, we're going to turn them off. I want it to look extra glowy in here. If we continue going to the left, you can see we have Poe's castle or his shrine. I, I don't know what to call it. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a pet snake. His name is Poe. He is chilling in his little turtle shell. Hi, buddy, how you doing? There's his little head. Do you see him? What is he doing? What do you think he's thinking about right now? I have to know. Look at him. He's so graceful and magnificent. This entire cabinet was thrifted and my dad customized it into a snake tank. Um, if I lift this up here, which I'm gonna do slowly so I don't blind you guys. Uh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um, we use this to monitor post temperature. On the left side, we keep it about 90 degrees. On the right side, we keep it about 80 degrees. And Poe can go wherever he wants in the tank to feel most comfortable. I wanna spruce up the inside of his enclosure somehow. I wanna put some sort of uh, tree or something in the middle that kinda sprouts up like this so he can climb on it. It would look cool and I think he'd love it. Down here, I have some stuff for Poe, like paper. Why do I have paper in here? Um, there's some bedding back there and a stool because I'm too short to reach inside of his tank. I'm not short, but I am average height for an American woman. I'm 5'4". Poe also has his own webcam. If you guys have tuned into the streams, you would know that Poe has a webcam, and we like to check in on him every now and then to see what he's up to. This webcam is the Logitech C920. It is the best webcam. If you're starting out streaming or making videos, oh my gosh. I used this thing for about three or four years, and it has great picture quality. Highly recommend. If we continue to the left, we have my G Fuel fridge and my G Fuel Pyramid. And we also have this Sailor Moon print that I got from Displate. If you can hear, it is metal. Uh, it's sticking on here by a magnet. And I love it, I think it looks so cool. I'll leave a link down in the description below to these metal plates there by Displate. And they're my new favorite thing right now because they're metal. Like they're, they're straight up, they're metal. And they're really high quality. You can switch them out often. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I've been switching them out on my fridge every now and then to change up the look. But uh, can you tell that I'm sponsored by G Fuel? I like G Fuel use code butters only if you want to, you don't have to. Um, big fan. 
Also, we have Little Guy. I'm sure you guys know about Little Guy. He used to be a real pumpkin. Um, he he is no longer a real pumpkin. He's a he's a well he's a he's a 3D printed pumpkin. He's cute, and we love Little Guy because how can you not? He makes me happy, and he looks over my G Fuel. In my fridge right now, I have a couple of cans. Um, I need some more though. To this side of the room, we have the Mountain Tapestry audio panel, and we have this little love seat. I don't remember where I got it. It was somewhere online really cheap. Um, it's not the most comfortable thing, but I just wanted it because I want it to look cool in the background. I wanted to have lights behind it, and uh, this is the exact effect I was wanting. So, it looks cool. I love the RGB on the floor, especially through this blanket. Like, do you see that? That is so pretty. This is a pillow of me, by the way. Hello. Um, this was a gift. This is not for sale or anything, but it is me, and... It's a really cool piece of art. I like it. She also has my uwu beanie sitting on top of her. You thought it was uwu when in reality it's actually more uwu. Haha, -ha, I made that same joke in my last office tour, gaming tour video. Okay, anyways. And if we continue going left, we have my lanyards from past events. Yeah, what a fun time. Been to many, many events. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Hello. Hi, Sneak. How are you doing today? Are you doing well? I hope so. God, you look so Derpy. <laughs> One thing I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about is the RGB lighting in my room. So I will go ahead and run you guys through my RGB lighting setup. So on the back of my desk, I have a Philips Hue LED strip light. Behind my little love seat here, I have two products from Philips Hue. They are called the Philips Hue Play, I think. They're pretty much these light bars. I don't want to blind you guys, I'm sorry. Um, but they are these light bars that you can change the colors of on your phone. I wanted these lights and my desk light to definitely be Philips Hue because I can use an app to control them. I'll run you through it super quick, but this is the current color scheme that I have set up. Um, I could take this one, which is the strip light behind the desk, and I can move it to, I don't know, hello? I can move it to pink if I want to. See? Wow, that actually looks amazing. Dang! All right. I can move this little green light to, uh, I don't know, like an orange color maybe? We'll go with that one, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's kind of pretty. Wait, let's look at it here. Do you see this? It's not bad, is it? I can also group all these lights together into one group and I can change them all at the same time. So I'll just run through this pretty quickly. Yep, colors, shocking, I know. Uh, but I like how you can individually change the, uh, the color of each light. It adds for a lot of creativity. There's also some scenes here that you can use, maybe like this one. Looks pretty snazzy, very warm. Uh, we have this tropical twilight. Oh, look at that. Ain't that pretty. Yep, it is. We have this relax mode, I guess. Um, what else we got? We have dimmed. Yep, it's a dim light. I made this preset as well because I love it for summertime. I think it looks beautiful. I also made a red, yellow, blue. Uh, I don't know why because I don't use it that often, but I do have it. For now, I'm going to turn it back to this one, and I'm going to address this LED strip light because this one is not Philips Hue. I have a giant LED strip light going across here. Um, it's not Philips Hue, so I can't use it in the same app, but I can control it via this button if I would like to. Ready? Go. Ta-da! I have all sorts of colors that I could change it to as well. Da -da 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 -da. Just cycling through some colors, don't mind me. However, there is a separate app that can control the color of the lights as well. So if one changed to pink, I don't know, orange. Yeah, so I can do that yet. But for now, we're definitely going with purple because it just suits the room right now. Now, is that everything in my office tour? I think so. If I missed anything, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. But I think I got most of it, I think. Just one more quick run through for you guys. Yeah. I love this rug too, by the way. I love this little shape. What do you call this? Circular shape? <laughs> Actually, I would love to show you guys the background that I have on my PC right now. Let's do that. Yes, oh my gosh, it's so pretty and so fancy. And if you look up close, it actually is moving very slightly. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick that up on camera, but it's a moving wallpaper. How neat. And that's it for my gaming setup tour. Did you guys like this video? Oh my gosh, this has been so highly requested. I'm so happy that I'm finally doing it. To be honest, I've recorded this three times. I'm um, hoping that third time's the charm will be the golden ticket. I just didn't like the other ones for some reason, but uh, I like this one so far, so that's good. 
um, yeah, I'm starting to ramble a bit. I always do this at the uh, at the end of my videos, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around for my content. I really appreciate it. I'm very thankful that I can uh, come in here in the mornings and play video games as my job. I'm very, very, very lucky. I'm a very lucky girl, and uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep on, keep it on, and making y'all proud and playing games. And I will do what I do. I'll keep creating some content. Yup. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, whatever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yay. I'm so happy. I'm in a really good mood now because I recorded this. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy about it because, because life is good. That's why. Yeah. <laughs>